Now, during the U.S.-Africa Business Summit, President Paul Kagame commended the United States of America for the move to provide millions of COVID-19 vaccines doses through the COVAX facility to be distributed in Africa. He noted that while donations would be key in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, he observed that this is not sustainable and does not address the issue of equity. The United States is now stepping up to provide millions of COVID-19 vaccine doses through COVAX. The first deliveries have already begun to arrive in Africa. This is very positive, but donations are not a long-term solution to a global health challenge for, of this magnitude, nor do they address the issue of equity. It is therefore a good sign that the United States is preparing to join with the partners in Africa through the U.S. Development Finance Corporation and other agencies to support local manufacturing of vaccines and other pharmaceuticals. Now, President Kagame also gave examples of collaborations that have produced innovations that have impacted the entire world, like Zipline, a futuristic technology that delivers blood supplies to remote hospitals using drones, which today has not only expanded in Africa, but also to Japan and the United States. He called on the leaders to use the urgency of this moment to identify similar opportunities for partnerships, focusing especially on the young men and women on both continents who see solutions where others only see problems. We have already seen examples of how this kind of collaboration can produce innovations that impact the entire world. A few years ago, a small startup from California called Zipline approached Rwanda about piloting a futuristic technology to deliver blood supplies to remote hospitals using drones. After proving the concept in Rwanda, Zipline expanded not only elsewhere in Africa, but also to Japan and the United States itself, where engineers and technicians from Rwanda now reinforce the company's global operations. The company is now valued in the billions of dollars. Let's use the urgency of this moment to identify similar opportunities for partnership between Africa and the United States, focusing especially on the young men and women on both our continents who see solutions where others only see problems.